Hey guys, this is K uh, Cajun Queen again, and today I'm just going to make what I consider a very simple dish that I make often. Um, it's, I call it sausage potato rice, and I'm going to take y'all along with me, show y'all how to do it. Okay, first of all, I have here this jar. I save bacon grease, so if uh, anytime you cook bacon or anything, save your bacon grease, put it in a jar, put it in the refrigerator. It'll last for a very long time, and you have it every time you want to use it. Okay, we got our bacon grease uh, melting. And to that, I am going to add some cubed potatoes. I like to use the red potatoes in this case, because they stay together a little better. Uh, they don't mush all up. And I make sure my skillet is super hot, as you heard that sizzle. And then I'm going to... Uh, Put a brown on these potatoes and kind of soften them up a little bit, just get them very tender, and then we'll go to the next step. But while I'm at it, I might as well tell y'all what else is going to go into this. These few potatoes, I got some uh, cube pieces of sausage. I have onions, bell peppers, some mushrooms, and the rice that's already cooked. The rice will already be cooked. Cooked rice, you need. Okay, while well we got our potatoes going, I am going to add the cubed sausage. This is just smoked sausage, any kind you want. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in there too. And that way the sausage can mix the flavor with the potatoes. And then we can start to put a, a brown on the sausage too. Now if y'all seen any of my other videos, the secret to getting brown color on something, which Cajuns are all about the brown color like a theme we got and uh, because that's where the goodness is going to be you leave this sit i'm not going to touch this for a few minutes and then when i'm going to come back and stir it you're going to see the brown is really going to be on there uh you know you just it's very tempting to just want to stir it all up but uh resist the temptation let it sit we'll be back in a couple of minutes okay it's been a couple of minutes i guess here and you can start to see, I'll show you how, you see how this potato right here has got some light and a little bit darker, looks like a translucent color, this one too. You can start to see your potatoes cooking through a little bit, getting softened up. So that's what you're looking for. And then we're going to go ahead and give this a stir. And as you can see, the brown on this, and that's what you want. That gives you a good flavor right there. You see this stuff in my pot? Yeah, I'm going to mix all that up good going with that. Now, once you stir it a little bit, you know, if you, if it's enough brown for you, whatever, you can leave it. Sometimes I like to flip them over a little bit. And it's kind of hard with this spoon. This is a, a spoon y'all see me using all the time. But I am going to go and grab a flat silicone spatula. And I think that's going to work better. Okay, here's spatula. You a bit. You can flip it kind of like you would pancakes or something. Uh, that way your potatoes, you know, can hit the other sides of them. And I got them cubed small today because I want this dish to cook really quick. And uh, I want everything to kind of be equal in size. So when I'm going to mix it with the rice, that way you can just, you know, eat it like a good spoon dish. See how that's got a lot of good brown on there? That's what we're looking for. So after I get some brown on my potatoes, uh, next I have here is some chopped onion. And you can see this was just chopped, regular. I chop onion all the time, throw it into the freezer. That way it's ready to go. Especially with dishes like this because, you know, it's going to be all mixed together. I like a, a dressing or a jambalaya would be, so to speak. And the same thing with bell peppers. Chop them up, put them in a bag. And so we're going to go ahead and get this down. And it does okay. This may surprise some of y'all, but I do the same thing with mushrooms. Usually if I use mushrooms for a dish or something, I have a little bit extra. Chop them up. I don't do anything else to them. Chop them up, throw them in a bag in the freezer. 
And when you cook them anyway, they're going to turn brown, so I don't worry about the color. These are just fresh mushrooms I bought from the store. Chop them up and uh, put them in a bag. Put them in the freezer. So like I said, put all these little bags together and you have your instant meal kit. Cheap, easy, and much better than going by a those expensive meal kits in the freezer section at your grocery store. Okay, this is looking really good. You can see the colors. It's got a lot of nice colors. Oh, I have a secret. I have even forgot about that. I have a freezer here. Okay, and I have a lot. I have a little bit of red bell pepper, so... I'm going to throw a little bit of red, not too much. And you can see it's frozen. I just knocked off a chunk. Pop off another chunk. Into the pot of toast. Yeah, I want to do this for a long, long time. You don't want to do this and think they're going to save for a year. They're not. You know, they won't. They're going to get freeze burned. But if you're doing it for a month or two ahead, it works like a charm. And as a lot of y'all know, I do a lot of canning and even dehydrating I do. So I preserve food all kind of ways. But this is just a quick, easy way. In fact, I had bought this pepper for something. And then I got real busy and I couldn't get to it. And so before I, it went bad, I chopped it up and I threw it in the freezer. So today I have it. And all you do is, uh, you know, this skillet is very hot, so let it uh, defrost, and then chop it up with your spatula. This meal is going to come together very easy, and like I said, I already had the rice cooked. I'm Cajun, so every household has rice cooked. <laughs> kind of like a joke, we say... You know, I got the rice cooking. What do you want for supper? And that's kind of how it goes. So, okay, we got a little bit of red color. I didn't use too much of it, but that's okay. Got a little bit of a uh, color going here. And I'm going to let this continue to saute a little bit. It's still on high. And um, I seasoned it. I forgot to mention that too, but I seasoned it. Y'all know I'm a sloppy mama kind of girl. And, uh, I just season it all up, put a little salt in there. You want to really season your uh, potatoes. Now your sausage, you know, depending on how much salt it has, it, it may, you know, judge for yourself. You know how much seasoning you like. As a Cajun, we like a lot of seasoning. And um, so that's what I did. My potatoes are going to be so yummy. Oh, the smell. Oh, it smells so good. The mushrooms. Now, if you, you don't, you might, you might say, oh, I don't like mushrooms. You don't like mushrooms? Leave them out. No big deal. If you like turkey sausage, use turkey sausage. You know, make this dish for you. However you want. Your, your family don't like peppers, leave them out. You know, and a secret, if your family don't like onions, sometimes kids don't like to chew on onions, cut them smaller. Grind them up. Put them in there. You know, make it for you. Okay, so I got this browning. Now I'll let y'all see. I put the lid on. Wait about... I don't know, maybe three minutes, we'll come back with the rice. Okay, we're back, and I, while we was going, I put a little splash of water in there. And, uh, you can see the steam coming off the camera lid, but, um, I mean the lid as I pass it by the camera. So we got a nice, really good brown here. We got our potatoes cooked. And to judge this, I just... Put it in. As a Cajun cook, we don't measure a whole lot of things. So it's hard. You just learn from, you know, mama, grandma, whoever, whoever you've uh, been around. But I would say this amount here is probably almost a cup of rice cooked, maybe. And if you, you know, again, you can just it. If you like a lot of rice, some people like more rice than potatoes and sausage. Some people like less. This is just the amount I had, so looks like it's going to work pretty close perfect here. Now what I do again is I'll uh, put the lid on 
and I'll let it sit and soften up my rice because my rice was not uh, hot. My rice was from yesterday. So Okay, I decided to show y'all what I mean by a splash of water. That's it. That's it. A splash. <laughs> Maybe a couple of splashes, but all you want is to create the steam to, you know, to soften up and keep, not soften up, but break up that rice, the clump, and uh, get it warmed up. That's basic. Okay, and now we're back, and I got my rice all mixed up, and I got it all blended. And y'all know my video I did about my green onions, growing my green onions. So I went right outside my back door and cut me some green onions. Have them fresh. I didn't have to worry about going to the store. And all I do is chop them up. Now these scissors, y'all see, that's my Dollar Tree scissors. I got about three pairs. One pair I leave in my kitchen. And after I'm finished cutting these, I wash it and put it in my kitchen drawer. So you have, you know, different ones. So I just cut them up like that. And... Mix it in. And, oh, that is going to be so yummy. And also in the oven, I had some sweet potatoes. Yes, you can tell fall is coming. Let me get this turned off. But back home, when fall comes, starts to come around, sneak around, you start to get sweet potatoes. So, I'm going to go ahead and dish some of this up. And there you go. I'm about to have me a little feast. Baked sweet potatoes and some sausage rice and potatoes. Yeah, two kinds of potatoes. Don't judge. All right, I hope you guys try this out, and I hope you like it. And if you do, hit the thumbs up. Give me a like. If you like my videos, I'm just starting out, but I'm going to try to keep doing them. And uh, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment. I love the comments. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.